everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 20 by 20 inch uh, canvas. I'm going to do a Dutch pour, but it's going to be a little bit different. And I got my inspiration from Mina Villegas. I watched her channel and she called it, a, I think, a gardener uh, Dutch pour where she put the paint all over the canvas and then blew it out all over. And I, that's what I'm going to try today. So let's go over my paints. My first paint is uh, Liquitex Basic Silver. My next paint is Amsterdam. It's Permanent Red Violet Light. My next paint is uh, Blick Light Blue Violet. My next paint is the Golden Fluid Acrylic Manganese Blue Hue. My next paint is Modern Masters Amethyst. My next paint is Golden Alzarin Crimson Hue. And my base coat I'm going to put down is the Blick Rillic Titanium White. And that comes in a, a big, uh, like a half gallon I'm using. Um, my pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol to one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and about a teaspoon of Liquitex gloss medium and varnish. And I am um, going to add quite a bit of water to my paints because I do want them to be thin for the Dutch pour. So what I'm going to do is... Um, Stop the camera, put down my base coat, then I'll bring you back and we'll get painting. And another note too is no silicone is being used today in my paints. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've got my base coat down of my Blickrick uh, White. I'm going to give that a quick torch here. Get some air bubbles out. And I see a little lump in here I'll take out right away. Okay, now I'm just going to lay my paints down in any random order. And by the way, I did forget one of the paints that uh, I'm using here. It's a leftover paint and it's a navy blue that I had made up. It's leftover from a commission that, uh, that I had. I had done... Um, last week. And that paint also was mixed with the Floetrol. If I have negative space today, that's fine. I do think I have plenty of paint though. Another uh, artist to watch that does really good Dutch pours is Molly of Molly's Artistry. If you get a chance to watch her channel. And also Rinske Downa. R-I-N-S-K-E and Downa is D-O-U-N-A. She does a lot of beautiful Dutch pours. So Just a couple of artists there that if you want to get some tips on doing Dutch pours. Not sure if I will get cells today, but I am using Floetrol. And normally I do get some cells with the Floetrol. And this is the Liquitex Basics Silver. I 
hope everyone's having a good day today. Our fall weather is starting to, to set in and getting those cooler temperatures now. Trees are all starting to lose their leaves. Actually, we did have snow, a little bit of snow yesterday. Didn't last, but I was driving and it was snowing. Just a couple more colors here. This is that crimson color. And I am hoping that all of these colors play well together here. I do know Molly has said, Molly of Molly's Artistry, that you don't want to blow over it too many times because you will get mud. So that's one thing to keep in mind. When you're doing the Dutch pour. And this is this uh, rose color from Amsterdam. As you can notice, I kind of laid my colors from dark to light. And I do have leftover paint here in case I have to redo an area. Using my blow dryer is not easy for me. Um, I don't really feel I have the greatest control with it, but we are going to give it a try here today. And if need be, I will get out my little leaf blower. And use that instead. Okay. Let's get started here with the blowing process and I'm going to try and start on low and cool just to see I may have to go up to high looks like I'm going to have to go up to high what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn my painting so I can get to it a little better and I hope this is still in camera for you and I'll just continue the uh, blowing process here
Okay. I'm actually really, really liking this. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to take my straw here and just blow out just a few areas. Sometimes you can bring up colors from underneath. Checking my sides here. Then I will finish the sides off camera. And I'm just going to turn it here a little bit again. And I think I'm just going to blow a little bit right in here again with the blow dryer. And maybe I'll try the small one this time, the leaf blower. You can see how that's adding just another element of layer for the eye to see there with this small blow dryer. And I think I do have a little bit more paint here than I want to have so I'm just going to blow a little bit of that off keeping the composition in mind while I'm doing it I really do like this in here this this navy very pretty. And I think I will torch it. I really like the movement in this painting. Beautiful. And I think I will get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, let's uh, have our close-up. Now, this is the upper left-hand corner. I'm very pleased with this painting, with the composition, the flow, how the paints all played together so nice. This is just down the left-hand side. I really like the cells that came up, especially with the red. So pretty. And I'm coming down to the lower left-hand corner here. And I will take you up the middle. A lot of cells going on here, some little purple cells. And here is that red. This is really pretty in here. I, I really like this area towards the middle. And 
written in here. Beautiful. And I'll take you over to the upper right corner. A lot of really pretty areas. And this is just coming down the right side here. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would be great, and it would help my channel out. And until next time, take care, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.